Welcome back to another video of Real Steel Cars. And as you can see, I am not at home. I am actually in Ohio visiting uh, some family on my wife's side and it is snowing here. I mean, I thought the weather was cold and crappy back in Pennsylvania, but it is. There's a lot of snow out that window right there. So it's, it's, it's a chilly one. But there is some new Bronco content that just got released a couple hours ago that I wanted to bring to your attention because I know everyone is anticipating this Bronco, including me, and Ford is really stretching this out and really keeping all the info uh, tight to the chest and really keeping us guessing. But the people over on Bronco6G.com forums seem to have a lot of connection and pull with the Bronco project and they have leaked yet some more photos of what we believe is the baby Bronco's grill. Um, it has some nice oval headlights in there as well as if you look closely and zoom in, I know it's hard to see, but it does say Bronco on the grill. All the little holes in the center is where the letters are gonna go. But it does say Bronco. We do know for sure that it is the grill. Um, most people are speculating it is the baby Bronco grill. Reason being, the headlights to what we believe the larger Bronco is going to be has also been leaked. These round headlights as opposed to the oval. And uh, I guess this little rectangular bar coming off the side of it. Uh, also goes hand in hand with a lot of the renderings and speculations of pictures that we saw of the Bronco so far. It does match up almost perfectly to this rendering, I believe is from Car and Driver. Um, it looks almost identical. So I think some of the renderings that have been coming out lately are going to be pretty close to what the finished product is going to be, but that's just my opinion. I cannot say for sure. And I'm not going to say for sure. I don't want to get caught up in that loop. But it looks like it's definitely moving forward. We have some good photos recently that have been coming out. And uh, again, they're dragging it out. But at least I feel like we're making progress. We're getting there. So even though we got to wait until spring to really get the full reveal, we're getting more and more of it, which is always good. Because you need to give us some more Something else to bite on, you know, something more to keep us going. Now, there is more rumors that the new baby Bronco, I don't know if you want to call it baby Bronco or Bronco Sport or whatever it's going to be, is going to be getting a smaller 1.8 or 1.7, I can't remember off the top of my head, the 180 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque or somewhere in that vicinity. Um... I have the exact specs on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but that's going to be the smaller variation engine. And then we're going to have the 2 liter turbocharged engine, which is going to put out 250 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. That is, again, the baby Bronco. Now, the larger Bronco is also still rumored to carry the 275 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. So just a little bit of a recap there. You know, obviously it's going to be sitting on a range of platforms, so it's going to be getting that. Also, there are rumors that there is going to be a solid front axle. I do not have confirmation on that, but there is a lot of rumors going around from a lot of different people that it is having a solid front axle. That has been a huge, huge thing about um, everybody who's been commenting on the videos for the Bronco, that it has to have solid axles. So what's been gathered so far in the rumors, it does seem like there is a very high probability that it's going to get a solid front axle. So for all those who swore up and down, it's not a Bronco unless it has solid axle. Guess what? You might get your wish. So Jeep Wranglers may actually have that competition that Ford's been saying they're going to give it. That's a good thing. I am still really... Uh, I'm holding off because I want to see this Bronco. I know I want to get it on the car. Um, it would be great to get one for the channel. But then again, I like trucks too. And I really like this Bronco. I like the way they're teasing us with it and all the little info that's coming along. I like the idea of having a Bronco. So I'm going to hold off. I'm going to see what happens. And obviously what the Bronco is going to have to offer. 
Pricing is always going to be important. You don't want to overprice the market. So hopefully they don't disappoint. I don't think they're going to. I think that everything that we've been hearing, all the rumors, are coming to light. The headlights, the removable roof, the probability of a solid axle, all these things seem to be uh, coming true. You know, they're everything that we've been wanting out of it. So Ford's listening to us. That's a good thing because especially if you're going to slap a Bronco name on it, you don't want an oversized station wagon with all-wheel drive. That's just not something that the market is really wanting. So hardcore off-roaders, even weekend warriors, I think this Bronco is going to be right up their alley. And any more rumors that happen to come along with this Bronco, any new updates, I will be sure to fill you in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications if you have any more information that I don't, or maybe I misquoted something, drop it down in the comments below. I am not ashamed to say I make mistakes. Please, it's the help of all of you that really help the channel grow and make it better. Um, so again, drop your comments. They're much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.